Welcome to the presentation on DFM Pro product overview. In this presentation, we will see how DFM Pro helps you to get your designs right the first time. DFM stands for Design for Manufacturability. Objective of any DFM review is to detect the manufacturing problems during the design stage itself. The existing practices followed for these are like going through the checklist, doing the manual reviews, or inviting manufacturing expert during design stage to offer him the review feedback. Some organizations also maintain the DFM handbooks and they carry on the periodic training of their designers to ensure adherence to these DFM guidelines during the design. Issues with these existing practices are all of them are based on the manual intervention and hence results into inconsistent design quality. There are always chances of missing out on something. Output of such reviews is also highly dependent on the quality of time that has gone into such manual reviews. Secondly, it's very time consuming process. And thirdly, it needs a proximity between design and manufacturing shops where the manufacturing engineers are accessible to the design engineers during the design stage to offer them this feedback and do these manual reviews. Based on this background, Geometric has come out with a product called as a DFM Pro. DFM Pro facilitates upstream manufacturability validation. It helps in identification of areas of a design that are difficult, expensive or impossible to machine. DFM Pro being a software tool can automate the iterative design review process for manufacturability. DFM Pro also provides mechanism for knowledge capture and reuse for continuous improvement through its ability to be customized. Geometrics DFM Pro portfolio consists of DFM Express, which is a lightweight version shipped with every set of SOLIDWORKS 2008. DFM Pro is a professional version for customizable manufacturability checks. Inbuilt, it has a support for various machining processes like mill, mill turn, turn, sheet metal fabrication, manufacturing tolerance analysis, and some generic part attribute checks. But the biggest advantage it offers is by its ability to be customized to incorporate organization-specific DFM guidelines into the product framework. Geometric also offers services for this customization service, customization of the DFM Pro guidelines into this product framework. Let's take a look at a demo of this product. I'll switch to the SOLIDWORKS application. DFM Pro tool is integrated within the CAD system. Here we can see the DFM Pro toolbar as well as the DFM Pro menu within SOLIDWORKS CAD system. Let's start the DFM Pro. DFM Pro has very easy to use user interface. Design engineer just has to choose the right type of machining process that would be used to make this design and press run button. The tool analyzes the design to find out what would be the set of manufacturing operations required to make this part and each of the manufacturing operation would there be any problems. Once its analysis is complete, it comes out with list of such issues and lists them in the task manager. Here we can see the various categories of the issues that the, this tool has listed. Let's go into depth of some of them. So here this violation says that deep holes. Deep holes are difficult to manufacture because they need the cylinder drills as well as the cheap removal is a problem. Tooltip explains gives that feedback to the design engineer. If I expand this category, I can see the list of instances that that point to the issues in this design. I can click on the instance and the relevant geometry is highlighted in the design. Same time, your feature in the feature tree is also highlighted. I can zoom to that region to take the closer look. The tooltip tool tip tells me what is the nature of problem? So here it says that the depth to diameter ratio is expected to be below it, but in this case it's as high as 16.9. Now design engineer being in his familiar CAD system can go and change the change the parameters to either reduce the depth or increase the diameter to correct this kind of problem. Let's see another example. 
here it says that the sharp internal corners again I can click on the instance I can zoom to that region to take a closer look here I can see that there are two sharp corners inside the pocket I can also get more details about why this could be a problem in manufacturing by try clicking on that instance and invoking the help file help explains me in more details along with the diagrams as why this could be this why this is a possible problem in the manufacturing process so here it says that sharp inside corners cannot be produced by milling and required more expensive machining methods like EDM that's why it's always recommended to avoid the sharp corners inside the pocket help also explains what are the best practices to avoid such kind of issues so here it suggests that a fillet can be added to get rid of the sharp corner and it's also suggested that the fillet radius can match with the standard milling cutter size to make this one step operation if it's not possible to add fillet then at least one can think of like drilling a relief hole there to get rid of the need of sharp corner which would cause the manufacturing process to become more expensive let's take another example here this rule says that the counter bore bolt space should be at least 1.5 times of the bore diameter now this requirement comes by the functionality of the counter bore where it's expecting a bolt head to fit on top of that now design engineer may know that in this particular case my purpose is not to fill the bolt but maybe something different and because of certain design constraint I mean I cannot listen to this rule so in this case he can consciously choose to ignore such rules he can right click and say ignore all similar instances of this rule once he does that tool no longer bothers him with that particular in those particular instances again and again the rules can uh, the violated rules can also be easily filtered based on the grouping as well as applying the filters for example I can filter the rules by based on their criticality so that I can see all critical rules grouped together all high rules grouped together similar to criticality I can also group them based on the category so here I can see all drilling related violations together all milling related violations together and other category violations in one group similar to grouping I can also apply the filter so for example if I have a long list of rules to work with I may just first want to start with all the critical rules so that my list becomes short and I can first focus on them filter also allows me to go back and visit the rules that I have choose to ignore so again I can revoke them back or if I have the valid justification I can just let them there we have just now saw the validation of part of it